Hey fams, happy Friday. Today is Friday, March 27th, and I am coming to you with an encouraging word. Um, welcome back to Positive Vibes. So today I want to talk to you guys a quick, quick, quick word. I know I always say that I'm going to give you guys a quick word and it always turns out to be 20, 30 minutes. But for real, for real, I just wanted to give you guys a quick word. First, I just want to say a disclaimer because I know that YouTube um, is either taking videos down or just not promoting videos or flagging videos that mention certain words, um, you know, for the time that we are going uh, going through right now. So I won't mention any of those words, but I just want to tell you that what I am going to be talking about obviously is spiritual, but it's also practical. And in no way, shape or form, what I am going to be speaking about um, is, is any so source of form is any source or form of medical advice. If you are sick, if you are not feeling well, please seek medical attention. Be wise, do not be crazy, and you know, be sick and not seek medical attention. Please do that. Also, please maintain social dis distances. That is absolutely, absolutely important in order for us to kill this thing at its root. Another thing is stay home, guys. If you don't have to leave your house, if you don't have to go to work, if you don't have to go to the hospital, if you don't have to go to the grocery store, please, please, please stay home. It is so important that we adhere to these laws and to all of these advices and and be cautious. We have to be wise. We have to be smart. Wisdom is the principal thing. And I want for you guys to be well. I want for us all to be well and for our country and for our world to be healed. All right. So that is my disclaimer. Stay home. Make memories with your family. All right. Love on your kiddos, your hubby, your wife, your, your dog, your cat. Stay home. Be safe, be well, make sure you are washing your hands, y'all. I'm I've been washing my hands so much that I literally, y'all see me greased up. I literally have like a rash on my hands, you guys, because I've been washing my hands so much and using hand sanitizers. Like I'm serious about it. We we haven't even left the house really. I've just been going to the grocery store and picking up my kids' um books and stuff from school. But every time I come inside, if I'm cleaning, whatever I'm doing, you know I have a child that has special needs, so I'm constantly washing my hands. And um because of that, my hands have been dried and I caught a rash on, you know, because my hands are dry. So I now have some ointments, a Vaseline. Yes, ointment on there. And um, yeah, so make sure you are washing your hands and you are maintaining your six feet of distance and, and everything. It's If you go outside to take to walk, take a breath of fresh air and walk your dog or just walk with your children for 15, 20 minutes, that's fine. Maintaining social distances, maintaining six feet of space, but make sure that you're not outside just to be outside. Let's be wise and let's all come together and make this thing better and right for everyone in the world, everyone in our country, our towns, our cities, our states. Just follow the laws of the land as the Bible says, right? Okay, so now I just want to encourage you, you guys, and also encourage myself. This thing is not going to be forever, right? It's, 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 it's going to pass. This too shall pass. And I just want to encourage you guys today that if you are going through um, fear or anxiety or, you know, turmoil or any type of feeling, eerie feeling due to this thing, I just want to tell you, don't be afraid, but don't be unwise. Be wise, be smart. If, if you feel like you are getting sick, if you, you know, the symptoms are high fever and um, coughing and chest pains and tightness of chest pains and um, tightness of chest of your chest cavity area, also coughing and sneezing and all that, make sure that you seek medical attention. Don't sit there and be like, oh, I'm covered by the blood of the lamb. Yes, we are all covered by the blood of the lamb, honey. 
but you got to be wise, okay? You got to be wise and seek that medical attention with prayer. You got to put prayer on it, but you also have to seek advice of our medical professionals because they know what they're talking about. They know what they're doing, right? So let's do that. But I just want to encourage you guys to to stay encouraged. Um, the best way that you can stay encouraged is obviously reading your word and going to those scriptures that fortifies your soul, fortifies your spirit and make you feel like, oh my gosh, I'm going to make it through this. My family's going to make it through this. Psalms 91, right? Psalms 91 covers you, covers your family and basically tells you exactly what we are and what we need to do and what God will be doing, right? That if if he's our refuge, that he will keep us and he will protect us from from the, the disasters and the diseases and, and the pestilence and all these things that, that, that is here and that is to come. He said that he will cover us as long as we are in him, right? That he will protect us and that none of this might, none of this shall come near our, our dwelling, near our homes. So that's a scripture that you can stand on. I know for me and my family, we stand on many scriptures, but that is one particular scripture that we do stand on in the midst of this season and uh, any other season. We always stood, stood on Psalms 91. And I just want you guys to also stand on Psalms 91 and protect your, your, your mind, protect your heart, protect your spirit, protect your eye gate, your ear gate, and be careful what you speak out of your mouth, right? Um, I want you to be able to stay in your word as much as possible because the word of God is the only thing that is going to shield us from all the negativity and all the craziness that is media, right? You have some media that is just not, um, they're not reporting the, the correct information and, you know, it's, it's a fair tactic. It is a fair tactic. I'm not saying this thing is not serious because obviously it is and you will be crazy to not take it seriously. It is extremely serious and we all need to take it seriously. But what I'm saying is it does not help to have the news on 24 seven because the, the media operates on off of fear. It, it feeds you bad news, bad news, hour by hour by hour by hour. And so I want you to be able to hear what they're saying, take the good, take the bad, hear what they're saying, but don't have that thing on 24 seven in the background, y'all. Because remember, that thing is getting into your psyche, it's getting to, into your mind, it's getting into your heart, it's getting into your spirit. And whatever feelings comes from that is cre you're creating your environment. So if you're constantly hearing negativity, if you're constantly hearing bad news, that is what's going to come out in, into your environment. And especially if you have children, right? Because the, the kids are going to, um, the kids are going to react the way that you're reacting so if you're if you're reacting in fear and if you're reacting in oh my gosh it's doomsday and oh we're all gonna die and all this stuff that they're going to feel that they're going to feel that and they too are going to be speaking stuff like that out of their mouths so you got to speak life in your household you got to speak life over your children you got to speak life over yourself your spouse over the things that you have because God is concerned about you. He's concerned about the things that you're concerned about, right? He is with us. He said that he will never leave us nor forsake us. He is with us even unto the ends of the earth. And we need to take God at his word. In these times, these are the last days. We all know this. If you don't know, then now you know. These are the last days. And it's it he tells you in Matthew 25 all the long list of things that will be taking place, right? And so as children of God, we need not to be afraid when these things occur because we know that they are going to come. It has to come. It has to. The prophecy must fulfill itself in order for Jesus to come back to get us right for the rapture. I'm not going to go into that right now. But what I'm saying is don't be afraid when you see these things, when you see perilous times coming, when you see all these things happening, earthquakes in diverse places, volcanoes erupting out of nowhere, you know, tsunamis taking places. And now this whole situation is occurring. Don't be afraid. Be cautious. Be smart. Be wise. He took to all of what the governors and the mayors and the president, he to all of the instructions that is being said. But let's not forget the Bible is the 
blueprint. It's the first and last word, right? The Bible, we are the government in the earth and we as people of God need to rise up during these times and, and reach out to others. Make sure that you're reaching out to family members, older, the elderly. Make sure that you're reaching out to people that normally couldn't really get anywhere or need groceries or whatever the case may be. Maybe a neighbor that is that is the elderly, that that is disabled, that is unable to get to the store. Reach out to them and see if they need help. See if they need something. Take the focus off of you. Take the focus off of this whole situation that's happening and let's let's have that love and compassion that Christ has has placed on the inside. We are humanity, right? We are humanity and the Bible said that the earth is the Lord's footstool and he, he, he is up high and he looks down, down, honey. And let me tell you something. If God don't want something to happen, it won't happen. Okay. But these are times that we are to wake up as children of God. I'm sorry. That's my phone. These are times that we are to wake up, wake up out of our sleep, wake up out of our slumber. This is not the time to be lazy. This is not the time to be sleeping and talk about, oh, I'm off from work and I don't know when I'm going to be going back to work. So I'm going to take this time to sleep. Listen, mm -mm. rest when you can rest if you may. OK, if you're tired, obviously rest your body. But what I'm saying is don't be so selfless that you you're not thinking about others calling others reaching out to others checking on them making sure that they're okay also making sure that you're okay that your mindset is okay that your psyche is okay and that you're aligning yourself with the word of god that you're staying in deep prayer right make sure that you're giving god thanks and praise y'all we got to praise in order to break this thing, to break this curse at its root. We got to praise God. We got to worship God. We got to give God the glory. Come on now. We got to, it's time for us to stop acting like we created ourselves. We did not create ourselves. It is he who have created us, right? And let me tell you, for me in my house, as for me in my house, we will serve the Lord. We will praise the Lord. We will honor the Lord. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what anybody say. You can you may you may be able to shut down the church where we can't not even the church, but you may be able to shut down the building, but you can't shut down the church because we are the church, right? And wherever we go, God is inside of us. And so we are the church. And so we are supposed to be praising. We are supposed to be worshiping. We are supposed to be entering into his gates with thanksgiving and into his house with his courts with praise, right? Because we are the church. We are the body of Christ, not the building, not the windows, not the walls. We, the body, us. Okay. We are the church. We are, we house the Holy Spirit within us and so just because we don't go to church or can't get to go to church um you know don't mean that we can't still give god the glory we can't still worship and praise god and get into the word and 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 saturate our minds and our hearts and our spirit with the word of god so i just want to encourage you today do not faint don't let your faith fail you Tr let faith trump fear okay the enemy has no power when you are filled up in faith and walking by faith and operating in faith but when you are operating in fear when you are walking in fear when you're speaking fear the enemy is all over you because that is a door okay so make sure you saturate saturate your home anoint your windows anoint your doors anoint your walls everywhere in your household right Anoint it, anoint it, anoint it so that when anything comes, it passes over your home just like it did in the Bible. Okay, come on. These are biblical times. Y'all know this. These are biblical times. So we have to be spiritually fit. All right. We got to put on our helmet. Come on. We got to put on our, our, our breastplate of righteousness. We got we to gotta put on all of that, the shield of faith. We got to put all that on you guys so that we can be ready. This is war. This is like the end times. All right. And so many things are going to come. Many things are going to happen. But the Lord said that it's not yet time. Okay. It's not yet time. It is just the beginning of sorrow. So we have to make sure that we are putting on 
all of the things, okay? All of the things that is going to keep our minds and our hearts stayed focused on God. Don't lose sight of who you are in this time. Don't lose sight of who he is at this in this in these last days. And don't lose sight of who you serve because come on, our God is bigger and mightier than anything anything that can come he is all seeing all knowing all powerful okay so we have to make sure that not only are our lamps and our oils are ready but we have to make sure that we are caught doing the work of god all right so be encouraged i love you guys do not fear if you feel one ounce of fear go back into the word go back into the word okay god has not given us a spirit of fear but of power love and of a sound mind that is what he has given us all right so we got to keep our minds stayed on him so that he can keep us in perfect peace i love you guys so much be encouraged and if you guys need prayer make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know that you need prayer you can also email me at shoshana bones at gmail.com um give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for new notifications um so that you will get all my notifications all right be encouraged you guys i love you all so much Take it easy, take care, wash your hands, stay inside, stay home, stay home, and make memories with your loved ones. I will see you guys on the next episode of Positive Vibes. Thanks for watching.